Okay, let's go ahead and solve one more question. And let's say that the question is this, this time out. y double prime minus y prime plus y is equal to 2 times sine x. So we're just practicing simple right-hand sides. In the previous example, I looked at a polynomial. This time around, I'm looking at a sine or cosine trigonometric case. And just a pure trigonometric g of x. So what was the procedure that we established? We said that we're just going to look at the homogeneous first. Homogeneous first. And for that, I'll look at this particular equation. And then if I write the ancillary form, m squared minus m plus 1, right, will be equal to 0. So then I will be my doing my typical tactic of minus b plus minus b squared, which is 1, minus 4, ac is uh, 1, divided by 2, right? So if when all, all said and done, I'll get myself 1 half plus minus square root of 3 by 2, right? i, obviously, because it's a complex number, right? 1 minus 4 is square root of minus 3. So just because this is a complex number, is it going to make my life much, much harder? No, not necessarily. It, sh it can, but not necessarily. So let's look at the complementary solution then. Remembering that this is alpha from the previous modules. This is beta. So I'm going to have e to the power of x by 2. Then I'm going to multiply by C, C1 times sine square root of 2 by 2x plus C2 cosine square root of 3 by 2x, right? Nice and easy, relatively speaking. Then I will look at the yp, right? So for yp, I will guess the form of it, right? And I will be able to write, um, it should be a sine 3x that's it right nothing else nothing more correct because it just simply looks like this no there's missing something i mentioned this in the you know earlier uh, session but i will have to have cosine of 3x as well okay so this is something that i sometimes see in the examination please be careful all right so that will be the form of yp i will do the same thing as i did before i will take the derivative of that so that's going to be 3a cosine of 3x minus y because cosine of well derivative of a cosine is a negative sign right so it's going to be 3b sine 3x okay i should keep going with the second one because that's given to me higher order so i'm going to get myself cosine so that's going to be minus 9a sine 3x minus 9b cosine of 3x okay so far so good then I will go back to my question and plug this yp double prime, yp prime, and yp itself, and you know see what happens. So let me actually go out and rewrite this. So I'm now interested in yp double prime minus yp prime plus yp will be equal to two times sine of three x. Okay. So if I go out with double uh, prime, I will have minus nine a sine three x minus 9b cosine 3x negative parentheses of 3a cosine 3x minus 3b sine 3x plus the last term is yp which is up there so a sine 3x plus b cosine 3x and the right hand side of the equation reads 2 times sine of 3x so i will take the parentheses of sine 3x right because that's you will see the right hand side looks like this um, sine 3x so i will have parentheses of minus 9a i'm just going by the order um, and over here i will get 3b that's gone and a plus of a right let's do the same thing with cosine of 3x so you will see i will get myself this time at minus 9b so that's gone minus 3a that's gone plus a nice b will be equal to 2 sine 3x plus 0 cosine 3x you see what i did there just to help you out so then from here then this needs to be 2 then this needs to be 0 okay and you can see i have two equations two unknowns so you can see minus 9a plus a is minus 8a plus 3b is equal to 2 from the first one in the second one, I get my, myself um, 
minus 8b this time. Let's be careful. Minus 3a is equal to 0. So let's multiply this by 3. Let's minus, multiply this by um, 8. And then what? Subtract. Then a will be vanishing. 9b plus 64b will be equal to 6. So you get you see that I get myself b is equal to 6 by 73. Weird number, but it is what it is. Let's do the second one then. Here is what it says. 3a is equal to minus 8b. So that's going to be a minus sign and this is 6 by 73, right? So you can see 216, right? So I get myself a is equal to minus 16 by 73. What a beautiful set of numbers, right? But it is what it is. So I got myself yp is equal to 6 by 73 cosine of 3x. Let's be careful what a was, what b was. Was a, um, yep, a is, you can see in here, with respect to sine x. Yep, I'm doing well. Minus 16 by 73 sine 3x. So that will be my yp. And the total or the general solution will be the summation of the yc plus yp where yc was e to the x by 2 I was first seeing that I was saying that yc was not nice after I see what yp was well, now relatively speaking this looks fairly manageable cosine of square root of 3 by 2x plus now I have to write yp over here, 6 by 73 cosine 3x minus 16 by 73 sine 3x. So you can see that's got to do it for the solution for this particular problem. Have a nice day. I'll catch up with you very soon.